San Francisco, Santa Clara, and Contra Costa counties are now shut down. Alameda County will officially shut down after midnight, and Marin will follow suit on Tuesday. KPIX 5's Joe Vasquez is live in San Francisco, where many enjoyed a last night of dining out. Joe. Yeah, Juliet, it was a festive holiday atmosphere out here tonight. A lot of people outside eating and drinking, many of them without their masks while they were doing that. All of that was within the rules, but now with this COVID spike going on, the rules have changed. And as of an hour ago, we are now in the midst of a stay at home order. It was the last supper for outdoor diners in North Beach, and there are mixed feelings about the new stay at home order. I think we're going overboard. I think that this order should have been done way before December. Last meal. Restaurants which have already endured so much hardship will now only be able to serve takeout. Owners are desperately hoping to make it to the end of the pandemic. Once this is over, there's not going to be too many people left. This is the last straw that's going to break the back of the camel. The new restrictions, as announced by the governor, are to take effect when ICU capacity reaches 85% in a particular region. But Friday, five Bay Area counties announced they're going to start early, before the hospitals get that crowded. Starting at 10 p.m. tonight, the new stay-at-home order went into effect, and that means now only essential personnel are supposed to be outside. Stores will reduce capacity. The new restrictions are beginning at the end of one of the most gorgeous days of the year. It's like when the tsunami came in Indonesia and some of those islands, the sun was shining and it was a beautiful day. Dr. Peter Chin Hong of UCSF says the virus is like that tidal wave. When it's still on the way, everything seems fine on the shore. Since the public can't see the insides of hospitals, people don't see how dire the situation is becoming right now. They wonder why they can't keep eating outdoors, for example, which so far seemed to be a relatively safe activity. In the past, even two or three weeks ago when you're outside and you came your nose and mouth came into close proximity with another nose and mouth from another household you know the the stakes weren't high that time because the chances of that person having covid were very low our covid rates in the Bay Area were actually amongst the, low, amongst the lowest in the country. But now the virus is much more prevalent, and if a lot more people have it, a lot more people sitting closely together without masks can spread it. A stay-at-home order will simply keep large numbers of people away from each other, which, as frustrating as it is, can slow the virus way down. To take that tsunami analogy a step further, Yes, it's the case that scientists can tell you when that big wave is coming at you, but people on the beach can't see it coming, right? Well, what the scientists are hoping in this case, which makes it different, is that if everyone pulls together and abides by the stay-at-home order, that the tidal wave will not be as large. They'll be able to mitigate it and perhaps save some lives. Reporting live, Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.